Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap pre-market trade plan setup for Thursday, July 2nd, 2015. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder and head moderator of Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap is a private group of traders. We are retail traders operate, operating within a self-organized learning environment. Uh, each morning we come together and uh, take a look at the market. I start with a basic routine of looking at the trends in a macro and a micro. Then I take a look at the structure of the market. And then I drill down to my trade levels and my hypotheses for the day. If you want more information, please send me an email to quantumleadtrading at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget uh, tonight at 8 uh, Eastern time, we're going to have a quick, probably 15 to 30 minute uh, meeting. It's going to be uh, just uh, an impromptu meeting and uh, go over where we're going starting uh, beginning Monday in terms of the room and what to expect. So before I get going today, let me just get the disclaimers out of the way. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand the knowledge of the business of trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You, know, you and only you are responsible for the trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or any instrument involves risk loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to your financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than the initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment, past performance is not indicative of future results, and any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own trade plan and uh, your own risk parameters. Okay, so that's out of the way. So we just had, uh, let's take a look at the news because we just had the news. Uh, we had non-farm uh, unemployment change expected 231, uh, came out at 223. Unemployment rate Expected 5.4, came out at 5.3. Uh, average hourly earnings uh, expected 0 0.2, came out at 0, 0.0. And unemployment claims came out uh, at 281, expected 270. So mm, unemployment jobs uh, not looking really good. Um, so we do see some uh, weakness uh, there. Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, we have factory orders and then 1030 natural gas. And then the, you've got to be careful of this one right here at 1110 Eastern because Draghi is going to be speaking and I'm sure he's going to open his mouth and talk about uh, the Greece uh, situation. Of course, we've got Greece headline news. Banks are closed in Greece. Referendums uh, going to be uh, this weekend on Sunday and the uh, Greece has defaulted on their uh, 1.7 billion, I think, payment to the IMF. So not very good for Greece right now. They are playing a dangerous game, I think. So taking a look at yesterday. Yesterday was just a grind. Um, we were looking at the fact that we opened up above range and above value. We were looking for that move up to test the 7450 trade area. And if we got above our target and main target above range and volume was the 7575. Well, <clears throat> they got to 7450 and uh, sellers stepped in and took us right back in testing the range. And then we just, you know, we just fought this range okay for most of the morning and then they finally gave it up and uh, we came down and tested our key line in the sand which is at 59 to 60 area and uh, you know we basically uh, held that area you can see we had a beautiful nice little mr. sneaky there that led the rally uh, into the afternoon and then we rallied all the way back up uh, and we closed at uh, 71 so uh, it was, you know, we, we made a day of it. It was a tough day, uh, very tight range, uh, did not get to our full ATR, ATR uh, so it was, uh, it was a tough day. Now, last night, just before I, uh, I went uh, closed out the room, I said, look for a rotation off of the upper Keltner here back down to that 67.50 area. Well, we got down to 67.75, uh, uh, tested the uh, center counter line, and they held. I got long last night at 68.75, and I'm still uh, running long. I've added uh, a couple times. I was up uh, early in the night, uh, 
uh, checking my position and adding to it. Uh, we're currently uh, trading 77. Uh, I've got my stop right now uh, running at uh, 70.75 right now. I think the key line in the sand for us today is going to be in that 71 area if we hold. Um, but let's uh, get back to our regular routine. As you know, I like to start my uh, day just looking at a simple uh, candlestick chart with two moving averages. I use 9 EMA, 20 SMA. Uh, they're the ones you'll see on all my charts. And I'm looking for slope and separation. You know, uh, how strong is the trend in what time frame and where has it been violated in what time frame? You can see that although we're losing slope and separation on the monthly, we're still holding the, uh, the 9 EMA on the monthly. I think a key level on the monthly is going to be this 1982. Remember, we do have a measured move down to uh, that 1990 as 100% extension and the 2019 as the 61 uh, uh, 0.8 extension. I'll show you the head and shoulders uh, for that measured move. But the trend is intact still on the monthly. Going to the weekly, you can see we gap down uh, from Friday. Uh, half gap fill uh, is still at 85.50. Um, we do have some weakness. We have violated the trend on the weekly and we have a gap to fill. So. Uh, Initially, I'm looking for a move up to close this gap if we can hold above yesterday's uh, range high or even the value area high from yesterday. But in terms of the trend, there is no trend right now on the weekly. Going to the daily, uh, this shows the head and shoulder the best. There's your left shoulder right here. There's your head, the all-time high, and your right shoulder. And, uh, you know, the neckline is uh, right down here, uh, you know, about 62, I'm using 62.50, uh, although the value area low, which I'm going to get to in a minute, is now uh, shifted down to that 59. So I'm really using 59. And uh, this does not, this head and shoulder doesn't get violated uh, until we uh, get back above this right shoulder and uh, challenge these all-time highs. I think if we get back into the 2100s, this pattern itself is going to be, uh, you know, uh, invalid. Um, we do have a start of a. Let me just get rid of this. So this I don't need the open interest. Um, we do have a start of a downward trend. Uh, we do have a naked cross on the daily. Write it down. 97 and a quarter. Uh, but we do have a, a start of a downward trend. We've got slope and separation to the downside, and we're currently coming up to test the, uh, the uh, 9 EMA. Uh, key number above us right now, first uh, number above us is that 81.50 area. Going down and to the intraday so we can see if there's any trends or any uh, naked crosses that we have to pay attention to. Uh, on the four-hour, you can see we've got the start of this uh, – this upward trend, um, we have a naked cross, write this one down, uh, 60, uh, 20, 65, 50 on the four hour. Uh, but we do have a bit of a start of a trend. Uh, it's just the beginning on the four hour. Let's go down to the 30 minute and see we, you know, we have, uh, it's not real strong yet, but we do have slope and separation, and we are we are holding the nine and the twenty. Uh, and again, there's another naked cross down here at twenty fifty six on the thirty. Again, these don't have to, uh, sorry, 2056.50. These don't have to be taken out today. We just want to pay attention to them. And then going down to the five minute, well, I'm going to go to the 15 minute as well so we can uh, verify. There's this other one right here at 2064. See, we've got uh, lots of targets below us uh, right now, and we do have a start of a trend here. And then finally down to the five minute, um, you know, we've got a pretty strong trend. Had a uh, FUBAR, Mr. Sneaky, on the uh, on the uh, unemployment news, came down, closed the gap, uh, the technical gap, held the 9 EMA, and now we're bouncing off of it and holding it. So, uh, you know, another area to watch is the 76. I'm really looking at 75, 75, which was one of our main targets we had 
yesterday. All right, so let's go to the uh, structure of the market and look at the bigger picture. Of course, if you've been in homework, you know that I've been watching uh, this micro composite going back to uh, February, beginning of February. Um, our value area low right now is 2059.75. It's basically right at that 59, between that 59 and 60, still going to be a key line in the sand for lower prices. And you can see that the three day micro composite, we found value here at 5750. Uh, so you know, that's, uh, that's our first target below that uh, 60 level. Um, the value area high is all the way up at 2108. Uh, more importantly right now, we want to pay attention to the distribution zone that we're in right now. Uh, we're currently, you know, finding balance in around what this 75.75, that's what I was talking about. There's a little bit of support just below at uh, 74 and a quarter. Below that, I think the uh, important number for us today is going to be the 71 to 72 area. If we get below that, then I think we're going to come down and test the 66 and probably come down and test that 60 level. And if we break that 60 level again, then I'm looking for the continuation move down towards the range low at 46.75. We do have a weak low right now. We have a weak low in the overnight. We have a weak low on the daily. And the bit, next big target below us is 42 and a quarter with 45 and a quarter just above us. And then, of course, we have those targets that we've been talking about. Uh, our measured move is down at 19. 19 was the June micro composite VPOC that has shifted down here to uh, 201150. Uh, so we have to pay attention uh, to this number is, is the next big target below 42 and a quarter. If we can get above this uh, 79 area again, first target above is 81 and a quarter with a little bit of resistance at 82. And if we get above 82, then I think we've got a clear shot up to the FOMC number at 84 and a quarter, the uh, 87 uh, the 85.50 is the half gap fill from the gap down from Friday, and then 87.50 is the uh, is the next big target above us with a little bit of resistance at 89.50, and then the you know the big extended target right now. If we get back up into this double distribution above 82, uh, then is 93.75. 93.75 is still the most traded price uh, going all the way back to February. Uh, and there is a naked VPOC up there and then a naked close just above it uh, at 95.75. So let's take a look at the overnight and start moving our uh, numbers over. We just went in and put a new overnight high in at uh, 70, uh, 79. So our overnight not high is 79. Our overnight low is 67.75. And our overnight VPOC, which is not likely to shift, is 74. And we don't really have any significant uh, LVNs. We have one at uh, 72 and a quarter midpoint 72 but again uh, the value area low of overnight is 71 and uh, you know that's my uh, you know the 71 to 72 is going to be uh, a key level for me to trade off of today it's where uh, that's where I'm hiding my stop behind because I know if we get back inside of value my stop right now on this uh, swing position I'm running is 70 75 because uh, if we get back below uh, 71, 75, 72 area, I'm likely to get taken out as they come down to fill the uh, the gap. The naked close is 69, and uh, we've got 60. I'm sorry, is it 69? Sorry, 71. And uh, uh, we've got the naked VPOC here at 69.50. Uh, so let's... Uh, just bring this down so you can see this and compare the longer term price acceptance with our uh, current situation. So with me, you know, 
you can use, I'm going to be uh, looking at the 7450 as a uh, trade area. If we uh, get below it, I'm looking for them to come down and test this uh, 72 and 71 area. So the 72, um, we, you know, we still got almost a half hour. So I, I don't know if they're going to bring it down inside a range and we get an open inside a range, but outside of volume, uh, value, or we bring it down and test that 71. Still lots of time left. Uh, but if we open up outside a range, outside of value, look for initiative uh, buyers to step in and go up and take out that uh, overnight high at uh, 79 and look for continue uh, continuation. There's a little bit of, uh, of resistance at 79.75, so I'll be looking for responsive sellers up in this area. But if they break above the CLVN at 79.79, I'm looking for my first target above, which is going to be this 81 and a quarter. You can see that uh, right now, uh, 80, 82 is the upper uh, Keltner line. And then, of course, we've got the FOMC number at 84. And uh, I thought I had this already in here. Um, 85.50 is the half gap fill. From that gap down over the weekend. And then we've got the next big target above 87.50. So I still got targets up here. I mean, taken out but these are all going to be uh, valid targets the big one of course is uh, is up here at uh, the 9350 naked VPOC just in front of that 9375 uh, micro composite VPOC uh, the naked uh, close at 9575 uh, and then of course if we get above that I'm looking for uh, a move to uh, 98 and a quarter and then 2100 and a quarter which is at CLVN and uh, then I don't think we're going to get up here today uh, 2102 is going to be our target just in front of that uh, naked VPOC at uh, 21275 in the CHVN here below so those are the targets and trade areas for above uh, below the 71 Look for the gap fill, but I would actually be looking for them to come down uh, to the 69.50 with continuation. We've got the midpoint, the VWAP, the IB, the overnight low. Uh, you know, this is a, a weak overnight low, and look for them to come down here and test that. Um, you know, that's going to be a key trade area for me again. I'm just going to put it just below so you can see it at uh, 67. Below that, look for continuation down and an 80% uh, value area play down to 65. And then below 65, you really don't have anything, okay, until you get all the way down here. You get this closing swing low at 64 and a quarter, but really, I think if they get below value, uh, this weak low down here, I think uh, you can look for them to come all the way down into this uh, 59 area. And then below that, that puts us below uh, – let me just bring this over. That puts us below the value area low of the longer-term price acceptance uh, – or rejection, I should say – and the value area low there on the micro composite and the big numbers uh, 5750 <clears throat> with 5350 as a trade area you got a naked close down here at 5450 and then 5150 target and then we have all these targets uh, below us a little bit of uh, support here at 49 And then below 49, we've got 45. And then what is the uh, big extended target to the downside right now? Oh. 
is that naked microcomposite VPOC down here at 42 and a quarter. And again, I don't expect much below this, but we have to prepare for everything. Uh, targets below, numbers to watch, 37.75. 30 and a quarter. Oh, why are you doing this to me again? All right, sorry, uh, 30 and a quarter, 24.75, and then you've got that measured move at 19, and then our uh, next big target below, which is that uh, naked VPOC down here at uh, 20.11.50. All right, so how am I going to trade it? Got lots of levels. How are we going to trade it? Well, as long as we stay above 74, I'm going to stay long. I'm actually staying long all the way down here to uh, 71.75. I'll, I'll probably try to add here, but again, look for responsive uh, uh, initiative seller, initiative buyers, sorry, uh, stepping in if we stay above range and above value. If you see responsive uh, selling coming in, look for them to come down and test the 71 level if they get inside of 74.50, and then look for responsive buying down here to possibly hold above this level uh, and rotate us back up through the range high and uh, go and take out that overnight high. Um, if we stay above range, and we open outside of range and outside of uh, value, I would be looking for them to come up into this area and up into this 81 uh, and a quarter area. Um, and this is not below. Let me just edit this. This is above. All right, and look for continuation up into the FOMC number in that 93. And you know, I'm still expecting a move up into that, uh, back into that uh, most traded price going back to February up here if we hold above uh, uh, 71. Uh, of course, below 71, then I'll be shifting and looking for shorts into the 67 and 65 area with possible continuation on the measured move and a. Uh, a you know, a break of this uh, key line in the sand. And I've got to put that in there because that is important. So they're getting back inside uh, the range right now. And uh, below this, I'm looking for moves down and a, uh, and a trend day developed if we get into uh, a move down. But you have to keep in mind that we're coming into the July 4th uh, weekend, and typically this is a positive time uh, in the marketplace. The only thing that's the caveat there is this whole thing with Greece, but I think think about it. With everything that's going on with Greece, we're we're holding value here. Uh, I would I would have expected a much bigger move down, and uh, uh, but I think the holiday is skewing things a bit, and I think people are just uh, they've just heard so much. Uh, crap about Greece for so long and for so many years, you know, we just assume that they're going to get bailed out some way, somehow. Um, but I have my doubts about that right now. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, taking a quick look at gold, we've talked about yesterday that I was expecting uh, further continuation down on gold. You can see that we uh, broke below that, uh, that uh, 62.50 area. And we went down to that first target below, which was at 58.10. Uh, we have popped up from there. Key line right now is going to be 
If we get below that again, look for further continuation, and I'd be looking for a move down into this uh, 46 area again. Remember, the next big target below on gold is 1128. If we can hold uh, 61, look for the rotation back up into the 73, uh, 72, 73 area and then possible continuation up into the 77, 78 area. Uh, and gold is just uh, real boring right now. Uh, the big one will be, uh, again, I think you can start looking at uh, 7940 as a strong long into uh, testing the value area high of this longer term uh, microcomposite at 8960 area. But if we get above this 92, and I been, you know, I've been harping on this. We get about above 92. This is going to be a great trade on gold. Get long into that 1200 because that is the most traded price going back to uh, 2008. So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, again, I'm still running uh, long, so I'm looking for uh, long trades this morning. Don't forget, we're going to have a, a, a quick meeting tonight at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time to talk about the uh, the room. We'll just take a quick look at the. Keltner, you can see that we're now below the uh, uh, center Keltner line. So a move down to the lower Keltner line is going to put us into uh, testing that 71 uh, area. Uh, test of the lower Keltner is going to be 70 and a quarter. In fact, I should probably move my stop down a bit, probably to 79.75 or 69.75, uh, just so we, just in case we come down here, get a double rankle reversal and. Uh, and rip off the front, off the top. Should really be below here. I should be at 69 and a quarter. But I got to lock in some profit. Um, so I'll be I'll be watching how they handle uh, this 71 area and make my adjustments accordingly. All right, I am. We got 15 minutes to the open. I'm going to go and uh, warm up my tea. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm no longer using Stealth as of today, and uh, uh, going back to my dome reading, and uh, we'll try to get some good trades for you today. Anyway, as always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch